just one day away, and the stakes could not be higher. Over the weekend, President Joe Biden and former Presidents Donald Trump and Barack Obama campaigned in the crucial battleground states. The two parties are delivering very different closing messages with vastly different visions as they battle for control of Congress. It's a battle. We've got full team coverage across the country today, including Tony Heath in Florida, where Trump's campaign push could have big implications for 2024. We'll get to Tony in just a moment. But first, we're going to go to Caitlin Huey Byrne. She's in Pennsylvania. Caitlin, good morning to you. It all seems to indicate it's going to be a long night in Pennsylvania. <laughs> Absolutely, Gail. Good morning and good morning to everyone. If you needed any more evidence that Pennsylvania is the crucial state this term, look at who was here this weekend. You had Barack Obama, Joe Biden, and Donald Trump all trying to use their presidential star power to help turn out the vote with control of the U.S. Senate on the line. Are you fired up yet? Pennsylvania packed with presidents. This Tuesday, you must vote Republican. The outcome's going to shape our country for decades to come. The high-profile visits show the Keystone State is key to who controls the Senate for the next two years. Democracy itself is on the ballot. The stakes are high. The race between Democrat John Fetterman and Republican Mehmet Oz is one of the closest in the country. I will bring change to Washington so they treat us the way we deserve. And I'm going to need every one of you to go out and have your plan, get your friends, get your families all ready to vote. Both Fetterman and Oz spent Sunday in the suburbs around Philadelphia courting key swing voters. With closing arguments made, the challenge now is turnout. We caught up with union members supporting Democratic candidates, knocking on doors in minority communities, aiming to get voters to the polls. You're going door to door. Every vote counts. Yes, every vote does count. So we know that it's very important for every single vote. And across town, Democratic volunteers Belinda Birnbaum and Jessica Clemens spent their Sunday giving rides to voters like Toya Perkins, who was notified she had not signed her mail-in ballot. They called me to come down here to make sure that my vote counts, and that's exactly what I did. Every single person deserves to have their vote counted, and we're going to do everything we can to make sure that happens. Now, election experts and election officials here can't start opening up ballots until Election Day, those mail-in ballots. So it may be a while before we get results here in Pennsylvania. And, Nate, election experts are already bracing for legal challenges with this year's result. Caitlin, thank you.